Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to read values from an airflow sensor using OPC UA communication in Node-RED. In this video, I'm using an airflow sensor from SIC, which can measure several variables such as temperature, pressure, volume, volume flow, mass, and mass flow rate of compressed air consumption, commonly used in industrial machines like pneumatic cylinder applications, and others. This SIC airflow sensor doesn't require a separate power supply since it supports power over Ethernet (PoE), meaning it only needs power from the Ethernet cable connected to a PoE switch. After connecting it to the PoE Ethernet cable, the sensor will power up. The next step is to set the IP address for this device. Hold the button for a few seconds to bring up the settings menu. Then, select Ethernet, and choose DHCP mode to switch to static IP. In the IP address menu, press the right button to start setting the IP address according to the network IP. After setting up the IP address, click the left button to return to the main display. The device is now connected to the network with the configured IP address. After connecting to the network, we can access its web server using a browser. Type in the browser, Airflow Sensor's IP address. On this web server, we can view the history data generated by the this Airflow Sensor. By default, the username is run, which can only view data. To further configure the Airflow Sensor, we need to log in as a maintenance user with default password, Airflow Sensor. By using the username maintenance, we can configure the airflow sensor, such as setting up the IP address, activating the web server, enabling MQTT connection to send sensor data to the selected MQTT broker, and activating OPC UA. In this video, I activate OPC UA so that sensor data can be read and node read using OPC UA communication. To explore further information regarding the usage and configuration of this SIC airflow sensor, please refer to its manual book. I've also provided a link in the video description for your convenience. Now, let's proceed to the instructions for OPC UA. From the instructions provided in the manual book, to obtain the node ID for each parameter, we will use the UA Expert Client application. To download this application, visit the website, unifiedautomation.com. Click on Download UA Expert in the OPC UA Products section at the bottom. You'll need to register and log in to download the installer. Next step, proceed with the installation of UA Expert. Follow the instructions on the installation wizard. During the initial usage of UA Expert, you'll need to fill out the form for the application instance certificate to identify the installation. Please fill out the form according to the installation data. The following steps need to be performed in order to operate the sensor via OPC UA. First, press the plus symbol to add a new server, then fill in the configuration name, for example, flow meter. Next, on the advanced tab, enter the endpoint URL of the sensor, which is OPC dot tcp slash slash followed by the ip address then press the ok button to finish adding server next click the connect button to initiate the connection to the opc ua server then the address space of the sensor will be displayed in the address space field 
we can see in the process data section variables that we can retrieve values from. For example, if I want to view temperature data, I would drag and drop the temperature variable into the data access view field. In the data access view, click on the data whose attributes we want to see. On the right hand side field, you can view the attributes of that variable, including the node ID. This node ID will be used in node red to read the data of the variable. Now, open node red. To be able to read variables from the OPC UA server, we need an additional node. Click on Manage Palette, then go to the Install tab, search for OPC UA, and select the node named Node Red Contrib OPC UA. Then, click Install. Wait for the installation to finish. For more detailed information on how to use this node, please visit its node red flow page. These are the nodes that we can use to communicate via OPC UA and Node Red. Next, let's try to read variables from the SICK Airflow sensor through the provided OPC UA feature. Next, let's try to create a flow to read the variable, for example, the temperature variable. Start with a trigger node, then connect it to the OPC UA item node. In the OPC UA item node, in the item column, Fill in according to the node ID that we obtained from the UA expert application for the temperature variable. Then, choose the data type as float because the value obtained will be a float. Finally, fill in the name, for example, temperature. Make sure the entry in the item column matches the node ID in the UA expert application. Next, add an OPC UA client node and connect it to the OPC UA item node. In the OPC UA client node, Add the endpoint address that we will connect to, matching the OPC UA address we configured on the airflow sensor, including the port. To obtain the output payload from the OPC UA client node, connect it to a debug node with the output option set to complete message object. Then, deploy the flow. Click on the inject node to read the value of the temperature variable from OPC UA. You will then see the output payload in the debug tab. You can use this payload to display it on a dashboard or for other purposes. Thank you for watching. This is a simple example of how to read variables from an OPC UA server. In this example, I used a SICK airflow sensor, but you can also use other devices that have OPC UA features. See you in the next video.